In today's video, let's see how we can use a macro template inside of a macro expansion. So I have pi as macro template and its expansion is 3.14. I'll take, I'll define another macro. I'll take macro template as area, which takes an argument. I'll, I'll pass in our radius of a circle. So we'll use macro template pi here into R square. So let me take a floating point variable r. I'll ask the user to input the value for radius of the circle and store it inside the address of floating point variable r. Scanf percentage f, which is format specifier for floating point variables. Now I'll print the result. Area of circle is percentage f. So I'll call area and pass in the value of radius so this entire thing area of r will be replaced by its macro expansion which is pi into r into r so this area of r will be replaced by this macro uh, expansion and pi will be replaced by 3.14 which is macro expansion of pi so let me come back. So let me compile and execute the program once. I'll give radius of circle as 5. For pi value 3.1 for that's the result. So let us go for more accuracy. I'll include math.h header file. I'll remove this definition here macro. So instead I'll use m underscore pi, which is a constant present inside math.h library. Let us check that file. So this is the value of pi stored inside math.h library for m underscore pi constant. So let us compile and run this program first. So I'll give radius 5. This is much more accurate answer. Write this down. Now let me remove this header file and ash define pi and input this value as macro expansion. Now let me use this pi macro template here. Now let me compile and execute the program once again. And for radius 5, this area of circle is 78.539816. So this is how we can make use of macro template inside macro expansion of another uh, macro definition. So that's possible too. That's what I'm trying to showcase in this video tutorial. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please don't forget to share this video with your friends online on your WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.